Arsenal fan no. TV, um, disappointing tonight, but we are through. Yeah, um, I'm happy we're through. I mean, that's something to be happy about, at least. You happy with the performance, though? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Come on. Let, let's look at the team as a whole. I think the only person for me that stood out was um, probably El Nani. Yeah, from the attacking, yeah, from, the attacking right. from the attacking from the attacking side really <clears throat> not from the defensive side from an attacking side he did all right because it was the mm. only one that was trying to like you know push he had a shot as well which was really good to see which, because we hardly take shots um you look at the first goal that he scored us Kolasinac was nowhere to be found because that ball went through his back and I don't, he, he was switched off <laughs> and then before you knew it it was a goal and i really don't know what spinner was doing for that goal the second goal um chambers <laughs> I think that guy called Sem, is it Sema? I'm not sure what his name is, the Oster, Ostersunds guy, yeah. He, he sent him on an errand because he, he was really skillful, you know, and he just, he just bit him. And, turned and him that, too easy. Yeah, turned him I mean, so easily, on. you know what I mean? And there was no cohesion between, you know, um, Holden and Chambers. It was like they haven't trained together. It seemed as if maybe when they're training, they just know they're not going to play. The and they don't bother. back four, three, you know what whatever I mean? it was was all over the place you know what i mean all over the place there was there, there was full backs out of position yeah. there was there was I've, I've never honestly the first 20 minutes of that game i could yeah. not believe what i was watching they had two chances even before they scored mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because i think that was down to holding giving two wrong passes yeah. mm. in the beginning i think first 10 minutes he gave two wrong passes and they almost scored and is it too harsh to say these guys have gone backwards or is it just one of them things you know they're not getting regular football so, you know, just like you said, to just come in in these sort of games, not easy. Um, Robbie, that's not an excuse. I mean, you're saying, okay, yeah, they, they've gone backward. It's obvious they've gone backward. But as far as I'm concerned, you're a footballer. You're paid a lot of money, okay? You should be fighting and knocking on the door to get back into the team. You should be showing the manager a reason why you should be in the team. But if you're out for the team for a bit, it like you said, you can lose your flow a bit, can't you? You can yeah, kind yeah. of... No, I agree you can lose your flow. But we should still see a bit of this. We should still see a bit of, you know, that heart, that hunger. It wasn't there. Mm. The Ostersund guys, it was, as, it was like they've trained in Emirates before. It's like Emirates is the training ground, the way they were playing. Mm. And then you see our players, they're like this. It doesn't make sense. And then the other worrying thing today was up front. We still seem to be a bit toothless don't, up front. Don't, don't let me, don't Danny let me, Welbeck look, seems to be really low on confidence look, at the moment. Don't let me get started. As far as I'm concerned, Danny Welbeck is not a striker. That's my own personal opinion. At the start of the season, though, he, he was playing well, didn't he? He scored a couple of goals. He was looking decent. Yeah, every, every player can have, you know, a, a good, you know, good time here, here, here and there again. But the point is, as far as I'm concerned, I see him more as a winger, as a hard worker that's always going to go down the wings and help, you know, a defender or something. But he's never been that clinical goal scorer. In this competition, he's going to have to be that guy because, you know, there, there's no Aubameyang. He can't play. It's ridiculous that he can't play. Um, in the Europa League, but he can't play. Lacazette's out. Giroud's gone. It's down to him. No Walcott. It's down to him now. Yeah. It's, it's really, you know, a lot of pressure on him now to really step up. Can he? He can. Don't get me wrong. He can. But he needs that right mentality. Because somewhere, somewhere in his head, that's out of it right now. And he needs to get that back in his head. Because to me, he was making the wrong decision. I was actually watching him at some point. He was making the wrong runs. And when he made the right runs, he didn't really do very well with the ball. There was a chance he was supposed to lay it back to El Nene and that was going to be a goal. Instead, he took the wrong decision to chip it. I don't know, to, was it to Mkhitaryan or whoever? That was. For me, that was a very wrong decision. That, and that showed that he was a bit under pressure. Maybe he was putting himself under pressure. I don't know. But that was the wrong decision for him. And as a striker, you should be better than that. You're fighting to get in the first team. You should be putting a better shift than what I saw today. Okay? Now, um, Metna Lyles. <laughs> Um, I think Wenga said something about him being a DM, you know, a defensive midfielder. I don't think so. Because today, he made Shaka look really good. You know, we've always been saying, oh, Shaka is... But when Shaka came in, I was really happy. For the first time this season, I was very happy to have Shaka in the team. I have to tell you this. And if that's what we're going to be relying on, Shaka, who have been slugging out to actually come and save us, then, bro, we have a long, long, long way to go. If we want to Can we beat City? We can't. And I'm still going to say this, we can. But the question is, what version of Arsenal are you going to get? Is it the, is it the Arsenal whose um, light bulb switch is on? Or the one whose light bulb switch is off? That is a question I'm going to give to you. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to be going into that game hoping. 
Leave it in the comments below. The one with the light bulb on or the one with the light bulb off. Let us know. <laughs>